Hero of our time, champion of Christ, the restorer of the Eastern Roman Empire. My father, Michael Pilologos, is dead. All his life he fought to bring back the glory of our empire, and he successfully achieved 1065 borders from nothing. It is not an easy task to replace such a great man, but as his son, I will live up to his legacy. I promised on his deathbed that I will restore Justinian's borders. We have so much work to do. I am Alexios Pylologos, new emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire. I will create the largest professional army that the empire has ever seen. Those who below me will obey my commands and reap the benefits of serving me or be destroyed. I will use power of the gold to gain my followers' loyalty. Under my leadership, the empire will prosper. I will continue with wealth focus to increase my income. Then I will pick administrator to make sure my vassals stay loyal through diplomacy and gifts. Currently, I am despised by my vassals due to my superiority. It seems like I was not the preferred heir, too. No matter, though, I will gain their support soon enough to prevent future civil wars. First, let's offer powerful vassals to seats on the Imperial Council. Du Bardas has a great martial skill, so let's make him the Marshal of the Empire. On the other hand, I should choose my spy master carefully. It must be a someone with high skill and loyalty. He will play a key role in stabilizing my realm. Demetrios is old, but he is the most experienced among us. And he knows everybody, so let's make him the spy master. For my steward, I can't think anybody but the king of Trebizond, Alexios. It is crucial to have great relations with him. He is strong and wise, so having him by my side is crucial. And lastly, Michael IV, the king of Epirus, should be on the Imperial Council by tradition. I will let my wife handle the relations with my vassals due to her high diplomacy skill. I will focus on improving the prosperity of the Empire by building new economy buildings. Also, I should focus on the army to increase its size and quality. It is wise to get some of my vassals to my side by swaying them. They will be useful in improving my military because I lack in martial skills. Moreover, let's organize a feast in Constantinople to increase my prestige. I will invite all my powerful vassals to increase my relations with them. The honor guest will be the king of Epirus, due to his high influence. Finally, I have been recognized as the new emperor by the influential people in the empire. The coronation ceremony held in Hagia Sophia. The patriarch then recited the prayer over the crown, before taking the crown in both hands and crowning me with it, while proclaiming in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. My first task as the emperor will be the creation of new royal heavy cavalry army. This lethal force will serve as my sword, along with their brother squadron of 1st Regiment of Klibanophoroi Heavy Cavalry. Both regiments will be essential in my campaigns in Syria and Egypt, due to their capability to destroy lightly armored enemy armies with their focused charges. It is time to invade Syria. Ayyubid Sultanate is at war with their southern enemies. While they are busy fighting there, our legions can invade the region to occupy it. Let's send two legions under the supreme command of Alexios. Our main objective is to capture ever-important city of Aleppo. From there, we can invade the southern Syria and the Holy Land. We have sufficient supplies and siege engines to bring Aleppo's walls down. I don't think the Ayyubids will send a relief force since they are busy fighting in Egypt. 
I trust in Alexios's capabilities to take the fortified city. Aleppo has strong defenses. To penetrate the city, we need a full-scale attack that is supported by the siege engines. If we can able to split its defenders by pushing through multiple points, we can capture the city. Let's take this city for Rome. Let loose the trebuchets. Destroy the walls. Attack the enemy gate. Send in the battering ram. Infantry, formation, charge! Attack through the gate, decimate their ranks. We were able to create multiple assault points. Let's use our armor advantage to overwhelm the defenders. The enemy army retreats. Victory is ours. We have taken the city. Let's secure our position here first. Then, we will march into enemy capital in Syria to take it. With Aleppo lost, Ayyubid will have no control over the supply routes while we can bring supply caravans through Cilicia. We have established our control over the northern Syria. Let's split our army to two and occupy the entire region. Soon, Ayyubids will have to give up the region without any battle. With the whole of Syria in our control, we can enforce our peace terms. Let's annex the region to start turning it into an imperial territory. Syria will be our gateway into the Holy Land and Egypt. The Holy Land is belong to the Empire by right. It was the conversion to Christianity of Constantine the Great and the famous pilgrimage of his mother, Saint Helena, who found the true cross that made possible the building of the great shrines in Jerusalem, he first built the Church of the Holy Sepulcher. For this reason, I have offered crusaders, protection, and prosperity under the Empire, but they refused. They will pay for their arrogance. The Holy City will be ours once again. I will send the Imperial Army under the command of Du Michael to the Holy Land. I am certain that the Imperial Army will defeat the Crusaders and take Jerusalem. We will send back the French lords to their country and make the Holy Land the Imperial territory once again. We have spotted the Crusader Army. Let's catch them before they retreat back to Jerusalem. If we can defeat them here, the Holy City will be defenseless against our siege. Sound the charge! Send in the heavy cavalry! Send in the cavalry! Archers, take positions! Infantry! Formation! Charge! The Crusader army has left the field. Victory is ours. 
Let's besiege the Holy City to finish this war. The city's defenses are weak compared to its glory days. We will try to penetrate the city walls by attacking multiple points at the same time. Crusader Knights are heavily armored, so we can't use our armor advantage. Instead, we will use our numerical superiority to take the city. Let loose the trebuchets. Destroy the walls. Be brave, men. Our courage and tenacity will win the day. Take the walls! We have planted our banners in multiple points at the walls. It is time to send more soldiers into the fray, so we can overwhelm our enemy with our numbers. Let's push the attack harder. Crusader army cannot sustain their casualties long enough. Attack through the gate! Decimate their ranks! We have entered the city. We are victorious. The holy city is ours along with the Crusader state. With this victory, we have established the Patriarchate of Jerusalem that was founded by St. James the Just once again. So far, we have restored five of our holy places. Only two remain to be reclaimed. One of them is at the city of Alexandria in Egypt, which we are planning to invade soon enough. For now, let's start the process of integration of the Holy Land into our realm. Time to invade Egypt to reclaim the Patriarchate of Alexandria, along with our old imperial borders. The Mercurian invaders drove out the Ayyubids from Egypt to reign over it. But their ownership of these lands will be over quickly. Let's assemble our army in Sinai to march into the enemy territory. We have spotted the enemy army. Let's give them a battle. They are no match for our heavy-armored, battle-hardened legions. We will decimate their army to show mere tribesmen from the south are not fit to rule ancient lands of Egypt. We are victorious. With this victory, we can besiege the capital city of Cairo without any intervention. Let's reassemble our forces to march directly to the city. Our strategy to take the city is simple. We will continuously attack the weakened city walls by using heavy projectiles fired from our siege engines until it comes crashing down. Then we will flood the city with our infantry to cut down the defenders. Let loose the trebuchets. Destroy the walls! The walls are breached. Move into the city. Destroy anyone who dares to stand in your way. The siege of Cairo is over. With the city has been captured, we can enforce our peace terms unto the enemy. Finally, 
We sent the barbarians back to their desert. Let's establish our hegemony in Egypt to reintegrate the region into the Imperial lands. I have divided the provinces of Egypt between my kin. The region will be ruled by family members of the prestigious Pylologos dynasty. I have also started the Christianization of Egypt by sending missionaries. Soon, the legacy of the Roman Empire will be fully restored in these lands. With these accomplishments, I have partly fulfilled my promise of restoring Justinian's borders to my father. There are still so much work to do. Well, it is time to end this episode. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. See you in the next one. Goodbye.